These are great for a vegetarian meal or a party snack. I'm Tess, and today I'm making a yummy buffalo cauliflower steak sandwich and buffalo cauliflower wings. Stay tuned! There is so much you can make with cauliflower. It is meaty, dense, and a nice sized vegetable that will absorb a lot of flavor and still maintain its texture. Today I'm making a buffalo cauliflower steak sandwich, and I'm also making buffalo cauliflower bites, or wings as they call them with the leftover florets. So let's get started. I have a nice sized cauliflower head that I've rinsed, cutting in half, and then slicing approximately one inch thick steaks from the inside. I got two cauliflower steaks from this head, and I also have the leftover florets from the ends. Let's make the batter. In a bowl, I have some flour, and I'm adding in some salt, black pepper, a good dose of garlic powder and onion powder, cumin, and paprika, giving that a good toss. Now I'm adding in some water and milk. You can make this vegan or vegetarian by using a non-dairy milk, stirring well to combine and transferring into a deep flat dish. I'm placing in my cauliflower steaks and making sure that they are well coated with the batter. I'm also going to do this with the cauliflower florets. Then I'm placing everything on a parchment lined baking sheet and baking at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm making my simple buffalo sauce. I'm using Frank's hot sauce, but you can use the hot sauce that you like. Adding in a little melted butter and giving that a good mix. 25 minutes is up, and now I'm brushing on my buffalo sauce, making sure I get the cauliflower well coated. I'm coating on one side, flipping over, and coating the other side. The steaks can be a little fragile, so just take your time and use a spatula if needed. The cauliflower is going back in the oven and baking for an additional 25 minutes or until fork tender. The buffalo cauliflower is done and smelling wonderful, just letting it cool slightly. For the sandwiches, I'm toasting the buns in my cast iron pan, placing a little ranch dressing on the bottom bun, then the buffalo cauliflower steak, and a little more ranch dressing. I was going to use lettuce, but I happened to see the bright, beautiful celery leaves in my refrigerator and thought these would add a lot of classic flavor to the sandwich. Adding a little red onion for more flavor and color, and a nice slice of beefsteak tomato. A little more ranch dressing on the top bun, and it's done. I must say, this buffalo cauliflower steak sandwich even exceeded my expectations. The cauliflower was so meaty and flavorful that it was a great substitute for the chicken. If you are a vegan or vegetarian, you can easily adjust this recipe to your liking. The buffalo cauliflower bites were delicious, and you can serve them with the ranch or blue cheese dressing. They make for a great snack or party food. I hope you give this buffalo cauliflower recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steemit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!